What's going on, fitness fans? Hey, this is Harding Ice and Bowman, rocking my crazy winter hat here. I uh, wanted to share some important tricks that I do on a daily basis to deal with lower back tightness and pain, stiffness and pain. Uh, a lot of people are affected by that, especially sitting around in office chairs, uh, having a sedentary lifestyle, or even overdoing it in uh, physical fitness in the weight room or in their manual labor job. It's easy to get afflicted with lower back stiffness and pain. So I wanted to share the things that have had the biggest impact on me that are simplest to do because if it's not simple, folks won't do it. So the, you know, the best stretch or exercise routine is the one that you'll actually do is kind of the way I look at it. But uh, I'm just gonna show you, rattle through them all in one video here. This is kind of like part one, and I've got some other moves that you can add into that once you've mastered these to help with even more flexibility and also strength and stability, uh, which I feel like is the next natural progression once you've kind of addressed the immediate pain and stiffness uh, and tightness. So here we go, let's check it out. So. Uh, first off, you want to warm up the hip socket. So we're just going to do that by standing up here and uh, got a little sparring match going on here in the living room floor. It's cool though. So I'm just kind of standing on one foot. If you need something to, to grab onto and balance with, that's fine. But uh, just basically taking, taking my leg stalks and just swinging them around so the, so the hip socket just gets, you know, swung and worked from different planes of motion. You can go side to side you can go front and back and go diagonal just do do that you know five to ten swings however you know whatever you feel the tightness start to happen you're probably hitting it where it needs to be warmed up do that on both legs okay the next thing is uh, we need to just come down on our backs and mess with the hamstring so the hamstring is actually not just this part here under the thigh, it goes up and attaches somewhere up here in the back. So it's like, obviously you can see where it's going through the lower back. It's, it's somewhere, you know, it's coinciding with the lower back. It's, uh, it's going through that area. So it, it has a lot to do with lower back stiffness, tightness, pain. Um, so we got to get those hamstrings loosened up. So next thing we're going to do is on our backs, we are going to simply come up like this. Now that our hip socket is nice and warmed up and loosened. Get out of the way, puppies. Come up here wherever it's comfortable. Somewhere below the knee. Grab your, your calf muscle and just crank that thing back towards your face. And as you breathe into that with each time, and it gets more loosened up and you gain flexibility, you can go ahead and even grab here under the sole of the foot and crank that back for an even more intensified stretch. Do that on both legs. Breathe with that slowly. It's kind of a meditative thing, really. I do it every morning. I do, do these moves and more every morning. Um, so th these are highly beneficial to just set the tone for the day, warm up the, that hip and pelvis and lower back area my gosh you just get such a leg up on uh on the day doing that so all right after you've done that much um then the next thing we want to do is watch that boy um let's see let's go go up to a bird dog so this is the bird dog i want to get on all fours here and you want to uh lift the opposite leg and arm combination. So right, right arm, left leg, and you're trying to just be on all fours and create a flat tabletop with your back and stick that puppy straight out in front of you. And the leg straight out flat. So you're just sticking those things parallel to the ground. The arm and the leg are parallel to the ground. You do each opposite combination there. Do that, hold it, breathe. And the last thing we're gonna do in this little segment is we're gonna do a glute bridge. All right, so 
<clears throat> you'll feel things start to uh, loosen up and get warm and get a little bit stronger doing those those last moves but this one really kind of seals the deal for phase one of these lower back pain fix moves here so this is what a glute bridge looks like so back down on the back here you got your feet flat on the ground here the knees up and bent like that and you're just going to take your hips and raise them up toward the ceiling so that you are your uh, torso and your uh, femurs are all in one line together. So it looks like this. All right, now it looks easy, but if you are struggling with lower back stuff, this will be a good indicator. Like, oh shoot, that's kind of actually difficult. Maybe I need to increase my strength there. So, so see how my body and my legs, tops of my legs are in line now. So back down and holding it, squeezing it. Squeeze the glutes when you do this all the way at the top of the motion. All right, so do that about 10, 12 times. Um, and then this, this is the last thing. This is, my, this is, this is what really kind of loosens up the lower back. I forgot I was going to show you this, but you got to have this one. I just actually got like accidentally a couple little baby pops out of my lower spine. I'm not, I'm not wrenching and trying to force the pops, but I'm rolling my hip over, just bringing the leg up and over. And I'm trying to keep this opposite shoulder kind of pinned back on the rug here. Just let the spine just kind of, you know, rotate like that. So other side, keeping this shoulder pinned. Oh my gosh. Just really gets the spinal fluid going, the circulation, the blood flow going. Gets those discs between the vertebrae all loosened up. This is heavenly, dude. So, just nice and easy, full range of motion, breathing with it. Not trying to force it or wrench it. If it gets uncomfortable in any way, just stop doing it. All right, so. Man, if you do all that and you feel no improvement, I would be shocked because those things are really good for flexibility, for loosening and warming up the joints, the spine, hips, uh, pelvis. Man, um, it's changed my life quite a bit, just adding that into my daily routine. Also a good pre-workout uh, warm-up type of thing if you're getting ready to shred or do squats, jump squats, crazy plyometric stuff like that, or... Uh, you know, weightlifting leg day or something like that. You want the uh, the hip flexors and the hips and the lower back to be nice and um, you know flexible, supple, warmed up and ready to go. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope that adds an extreme amount of value to you. Um, and be sure to get a hold of me at partnerwithgreatness.com to uh, see the second half, the second phase where I throw a little bit more in there for more strengthening and stability. So, all right, guys, Harding, Ice, and Bowman, partnerwithgreatness.com. See you all in another video soon. Blessings.